Germany, Münchmünster. Not far from this small city in southern Germany lies an Avonic plant that ships several thousand metric tons of tea a year. The sophisticated decaffeination plant was built in 1987 and commissioned in January of 1988. Since then, its operations have been devoted to the decaffeination of tea. Supercritical natural carbon dioxide plays a key role in its decaffeination process. In this process, the gas is compressed until it reaches the density of a liquid, but the substance is neither liquid nor gaseous. The CO2 decaffeination process largely retains the natural aromas and colors of the tea. It is considered to be the gentlest decaffeination technology in the world. We would like to invite you to take a short tour of our plant, where we can show you the most important stages of the Avonic process. The tea at our site is sourced from a wide variety of growing areas across the globe. Employees take random samples from each pallet in the receiving area. The laboratory then tests the tea sample for microorganisms, moisture, and caffeine content. Next, the sacks of tea are emptied and pneumatically transferred by suction into a storage bin. Now begins the actual production phase. A mixer is used to increase the original tea moisture of 5% to 28%. This moistened tea then forms the starting basis for a cartridge, as the experts in Münchmünster call it. Tea and activated charcoal containers are stacked on top of each other to form the 7 metric ton cartridge, which is held together by clamps. The cartridge has a capacity of 1,850 gallons. The tower is inserted into an extractor. This autoclave weighs 65 metric tons. The cover, which alone weighs 7 metric tons, is hydraulically shut with 40 pins. The supercritical carbon dioxide is then pumped through the T at a pressure of 3,600 psi. Decaffeination in the autoclaves takes several hours. In the next step, the tower is lifted out of the autoclave and the three activated charcoal and tea baskets are separated. A tilting device then pours the decaffeinated tea through a vibrating screen and onto the fluidized bed dryer, where it is ever so gently dried. In the end, the tea will have a moisture content of only 5%. After this careful preparation process, the tea is then filled into containers that production employees call cans. A robot conveys these tea cans to a homogenizer, which gently mixes the tea one more time. For us, the purity of the entire plant is paramount. Pest control systems, for example, are installed throughout the production building. We invest a considerable sum in continuous optimization of the plant's cleaning and disinfection operations. Once the tea is decaffeinated and homogenized, it is once again packaged, black and cold brew tea in octobins and green tea in big bags. Before this final step, more samples are sent to the laboratory, where they are analyzed for water, caffeine, particle size, mold and yeast, and if necessary for E. coli, salmonella, and enteric bacteria. High pressure liquid chromatography is used to determine the caffeine content. To test for the microorganisms, scientists generate negative proof by culturing cells in incubators. 
And as a final quality control check, employees perform a taste test. If the laboratory gives the green light, the tea is released for shipment. This concludes our tour.